Hey guys, today we're gonna to be going over how to build the B-Brain V2. We're gonna be using the Cockroach Frame by Newbie Drone, the Newbie Drone B-Brain V2 flight controller set, the BDR Gold Motors, and some King Kong props. And the only tool we're gonna to need is a small Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and crack open the Cockroach Frame. Open up the B-Brain V2 set. Inside you'll see there's some grobbits and rubber bands and the screws we're gonna need to put the flight controller into the mount, so go ahead and empty those out. I like to put them in the top little tray so we can easily get to them while we're working. The flight controller is gonna have a little rubber band around the whole set holding it together just for shipping. Go ahead and remove that. Once you have that out, I like to go ahead and at this time just unplug the camera so it's a little easier to install the flight controller board. Now we can take some of the grommets that come in the kit and put them in the edges where the little cutouts are on the board. Go ahead and take your cockroach frame and the way you're gonna orient which way is backwards is if you look, one side has a little notch down on the bottom versus the front part for the battery tray. That notched part is gonna go towards the back of the quad. And at this time, you're gonna wanna orient it so that the USB plug is to the back of the frame. And a nice way I like to route the power plug cable through the frame so that it doesn't get pinched or anything. If you look, there is a little opening right here. It's kind of small, but if you just bend the frame a little bit, you can easily push the plug through, so I'll show you. Just like that, and it'll pop through. Now go ahead and just fit the flight controller grommets onto the little slots they go onto. Make sure everything is nice and even and level on all sides of the frame. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the camera back onto the flight controller. Go ahead and take your Phillips now and go ahead and grab the tiny little screws. When you're putting these in, you wanna make sure they're going directly into the center of those plastic standoffs otherwise it'll just go down into the rubber and it'll kind of feel like it's in there but it'll easily pop out when you're flying and have a little crash a good way to check to see if you've gotten into the actual plastic thread is once you're finished screwing it in go ahead and give it a little pull and if it doesn't easily pop out then you know you have it incorrectly At this point, you're gonna be ready to do a modification to the camera mount that we found through some testing. Basically, what's happening is this little tab up here that holds the board in, the tab actually rubs on that chip, and if you crash this hard enough, we found that it may damage this chip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some dikes, and we're just gonna to go to the very top of this, and we're gonna cut that end tab off. So that way you don't have a tab coming down that's gonna rub on that chip. This was addressed in newer versions of this camera mount so you won't have to worry about it in future versions. But if you do get a, a version that comes like this, just do that and you'll be good. Now we're gonna do a little trick that helps secure the camera and the antenna in the event of crashes. What you're gonna do is wanna take one of the extra rubber bands that we give you in the kit. We give you five, four for the motors, and then an extra one. So you can take this extra one and basically, first you're gonna to wanna to put it through the antenna like so. Then you'll want to put it around the camera frame. Like that. And just push it along the bottom. Move the antenna over so it's in its little holder place. And that way, this rubber band is holding the back of the camera board against the frame and it's holding the antenna so it doesn't fall all the way down and go out of place. Another tip for building my bee brains is I like to move this rubber band down to the front of the lens. Once it's in there like that, I like to take the receiver antenna and run it up under the rubber band. So that way it's got something holding it in so it doesn't get loose or move over during flights or crashes and get hurt. Now we can go ahead and open our motors. 
What I like to do for the motor so that the wires last longer and don't break it easily and it makes for a cleaner belt is I'll take each one and I will twist the wires. That way they're nice and neat and it gives them a little more strength. Now we can start putting the motors into the frame. You're going to want to take a black and white motor and put that in the top right position, which is going to be a counterclockwise spinning motor. Fish that in there so that the wire is coming out towards the board. And then if you look inside, there is a little pin sitting at the bottom that will stop the motor. You just want to make sure you pull the wire so that there's an opening and that doesn't sit on the motors and put any stress or sit on the motor wires and put any stress on them so they have nice clearance and don't get pinched. Then you flip it over and plug it into the closest connection plug. There's a little notch in the middle of the plug that's going to face the outside of the board. Set that in, push it in, and do the rest of the four motors. Blue and red wires for the top left position. Bottom left is going to have the black and white counterclockwise motor. And the bottom right is going to have the red and blue motor. Once you got all the motors installed, go ahead and take those rubber bands that we include in the kit. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use these to organize the wires coming out of the motor. So you slip it over the base of the motor and it'll go down so that way it's holding the cable up so it doesn't drag down. When you're finished, you should have a nice, organized, clean build like this. Last up we're going to do is adding our props. Go ahead and put these on. And that's it. You have an entirely built B-Brain V2 using a cockroach frame, gold motors, and some King Kong props. In the next video, we're going to be showing you how to bind this to the radio and set up the model.